Hello everyone and welcome to the first round of the new season here in CTCR. Um, we have uh, a famous driver here alongside me just before we get started. Uh, say hello, Faze McBot. Hello, Faze McBot. Yep, what's happening? So obviously he is back now for, um, I think it's the third or second time. Um, obviously he has six race starts in the league a total of 77 points um, three podiums and obviously famously one win that came in this track today Bahrain so Faye are you able to tell me how you feel going into tonight's race do you feel confident in winning and how are you going to approach the race do you want the honest answer or the cool answer whatever whatever you fancy so the honest answer is I haven't practiced at all but okay. Like, I know I'm quick around this track, and I know I can easily win against these boys. But I won't go too ahead of myself because I know a couple of the boys are quick. But um, I'm definitely going for the win. All right, all right. So a confident McBaugh. Obviously, you're back in McLaren, and obviously last time you raced here, you were in a championship battle along with Randro, who's still in Mercedes, and uh, Lucas Paul, who's also in Ferrari again, which is uh, quite controversial. Do you see yourself possibly in a championship battle this season? Ah, uh, yeah. I see myself back in the battle. Going for the title again. Every time. That's what I'm aiming for, so. Anything else then just to, to add on before you get going? Uh, nothing. Obviously, I wish best luck to the boys. And, uh, just hope it's a clean race and I'll keep out of trouble for myself and uh, get that win. All right. Thank you. That's everything. So, obviously, short and sweet interview. Uh, hopefully, I can get into the lobby here now. Um, Manny, are you able to send me an invite there? Yeah, just give me a minute. Yep, no problem. And um quick. Who just uh about two of us? Alright, yep. Just got that there. Alright, I'll get some of the lads into the lobby now and uh we can get going. All right, uh, can you? You're in the RSL group chat, aren't you? Can you send or the corner to corner racing one? Just send uh, an invite into there if you know how to do that. Actually, I think I can. Can I? There you go. I did there. All right, I'll invite the other guys down as well. So who else is racing? Quattro's in, yep. Yep, Quattro's in. Okay. Right. More nervous for this than I am uh, my actual racing day too. Really All right, two guys, Maka and Essence Elsa, they're going to add you there on, on EA, if you can just add them and... Okay, so we're 14, so what drivers are we missing? So looking for...
Okay, so we're missing Alpha Tari. Yeah, I've just got a few more. Who's who's Alpha Tari tier one again? That should be I'm one of the back. reserves. Oh, that's um, Macker when he joins. I'm missing Ninja. No, I'm not going to do this. Um, an Alpine. Who's in the Alpines? Are you saying we have a full grid? We should. There's actually a few drivers also looking to get in. Yeah, Douglas. Um, Douglas. Griffin, he said he's joining through Quali, and it should be an Alfa Romeo, one of the Alfa Romeo reserves, yeah. who is, oh no, sorry, not Alfa Romeo. Yeah, Douglas isn't. No, sorry, actually, what's his name? Um, Legend should be in um, Alfa Romeo, not Aston Martin. Okay. So who are we waiting for? We're waiting for Ninja and Nah, I've just invited him now. We still are missing oh and then Griffin's joining through quality. Yep, that should be it then. Uh full grid. Yep. Griffin can use the invite through um This is a sight to see. You won't, you won't get this. What a full grid? Should we eat eighteen last night? That wasn't that bad. I'll take that as a. I mean, it, it was good. It was it definitely improvement from last season. I, I, yeah, hundred percent. Like it was for a full yeah. Grid, an almost full grid felt just good to racing. I don't know why. Yeah. Even if there was some questionable driving, but. Oh, and Griffin got in, so we don't even need to worry about inviting anyone during the race. We are all set, 20 drivers ready to go. Amazing. First time, we, last time we had a full grid in Bahrain, uh, of course, some interesting things happened. And yeah. to be honest, I hope I hope the same happens. It's uh, def definitely a statement. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'll just get the Alright, we are just waiting on the pit lane, just waiting for a few drivers to go out. I think it's it started too early, the timer probably reset. People are still only choosing their uh, Randro's got a lot to show to Yep, obviously Randro back on the grid, that's a great sight to see, along with his old teammates, Jake mate, that's definitely a blast from the past. F one Marley as well back. I love seeing him. Quattro has a lot to prove, obviously reigning champion. Like I'm looking at this grid, it's going to be interesting. A few tier one guys, I can't wait to see what two Magnus does now in the uh, after his brilliant drive last night. Absolutely amazing uh, yesterday. I think yeah. at that point you're level to end up being that, that, that. I'm putting up for a champion now, tier two champion. Okay, so yeah, timer did restart and I think it is Jinx out first. Right. Yep, he is out on track. The Red Bull driver. Obviously, I'm looking at possible predictions for pole. 
obviously you're looking at you're looking at Jinx, you're looking at obviously Quattro, Randro is up there, McBot was close before. Uh, do you do you think anyone else? Obviously Kofi as well. It can definitely snatch Paul. Who do you who do you think? I'm hoping that from like three ten upwards it's gonna be really close but the grid seems very competitive compared to what we had last season with the, a certain driver just dominating. Yeah. But it's gonna be a lot closer now, definitely. Yeah, of course. Obviously I think Jinx is definitely the favour. Um he's often considered as a bit of a time trial merchant. So we'll see now. He has a lot to prove because he always says like like I am looking at him in other other league races, and obviously I've seen him in Mexico. He dominated and got just really unlucky at the end. I think he could be one also up in the show for the championship come the end of the season if he does race enough, and hopefully he doesn't slam into the back of anyone either, because he does have a history for that. But um, he said he's generally excited for this, so I'll ride on board with him and I'll just commentate over his lap now. So up into eighth gear. Normally you should be running uh, around the te- um, mid teens of wings 16 and 18 was what i was running last night you should drop into second gear he goes for third doesn't really like second gear much you upshift quick to then going through two get a nice run out of three and drs activate on the run now down to four uh down to turn four you should be dropping round to fourth or fifth gear he goes fourth in this scenario goes as wide as you can but you don't want to extend track limits here like you can through the twisty section of five six and seven Gets that quite wide, although goes a little wide out of seven into turn eight now. Normally drop it down to three, get on the power early, but also you need to watch for oversteer. And now probably one of the trickiest corners, nine and ten. Really good when you get it right, and he has really, really good lap so far here from the Red Bull driver as he gets on the power early. And now again down towards turn 11. Should normally drop to fourth gear for this one. He goes fifth in this scenario and is going to go for the long run up towards the point of the track of turn 13 the second highest point on the track not including turn four drop it to fourth heading down through 13 and on the long run now down to turn 14 to the final corner and um, it's classified as two corners because there's a little kink here then again on the right but it's essentially one corner and then he gets on the power now drs opened and the banker for him is going to be a 128.6 and i'm pretty sure that was Paul in tier two last night. And yeah, Kofi has gone even quicker than that. 128.4. Another driver to look out for is JR, definitely. After practicing with him for as long as I did, uh, he's running 25 21 on the like I was yesterday. Yeah. Uh, they seem to be very quick from what I found out, but it was hard to overtake. So he's just looking to have a good quality and mainly rely on strategy. He's starting the first lap on medium. Yeah, I'm loving the look of that. Lucas Paul up in the P3 as well, just very close to Jinx. It's Jake Mate next across the line, P7. Behind him is, I think it was Quattro, and then it's going to be Randro, and them two very close to each other indeed. Douglas wow. next across the line, only P9 for him. After that, then comes Ninja. And he, no, he's only staring a lap. Essence Acid hasn't validated. He isn't. Griffin's only on an out lap. And behind them, Faze McBot, who I think may have had a bit of a spin, or he's also on an out lap. I don't know. It doesn't say he is. Um, I think we've just lost Manny here for the moment. Hopefully we can get him back. Um, we have, and that's pretty much the first runs of qualifying coming to an end. So hopefully we can get Manny back. Uh, I'll just let him know that we can't hear you. Hopefully we can get him back in. As Magnus has retired. That is interesting. Where's he retired the car now there? He's retired on the right. I think he may have been heating up tires or something. And he should be back. Hopefully. I'll be back just in a moment as Griffin loses the car on his lap.
Okay, so I'm back and Manny isn't yet, but hopefully we'll get him back just before the end of qualifying. Not much has changed anyway. It's Kofi from Quattro from um, uh, from Randro, then from Jinx, and then it's Lucas Paul. I love seeing that. Uh, Ryan Curran, is he on a lap? Or I think he might be on a bit of a cool down lap. He has Marley right behind him. No one at the moment is on a lap, but I think the next person to start a lap would be Faze McBot. So I suppose we may as well ride on board with him and hopefully we can get money back before all that happens. We should be in the group chat, so we should be able to join Troop D invite. So we'll just have a little commentary through McBot. So he's going to drop as well, only the third gear going in through turn one. Obviously, he's known for being a outstanding driver um, around Bahrain. And obviously, he's won before quite controversially, but probably a well-deserved win. Uh, if you think of the other 28 laps that he was racing, other than the, the one moment he had on lap three, which was under a lot of controversy. But at the same time, I didn't really do much wrong it was a great win overtaken obviously it was Michelangelo 5-5 five five on the final lap absolutely scenic ending as we should finally now have Manny back in the party Sorry, and I'm happy. I just that it did not want to work uh, well we're all good I, I think we can hear you a lot better as, as well uh, are you back yeah. in the, the lobby as well there phone lobby yeah I'm just uh, quickly requesting to join uh, it should be in the group chat, I think. You can join through. So, McBot coming to the end of his lap now. The only person on a lap behind him, I'm pretty sure, is either Jinx or Ninja, who are also on a lap. So, McBot's coming to the line now. And it's provisional pole for the McLaren driver. He says he has pace, and, well, he definitely does. Because that um, is provisional pole. Everyone yeah, else well, behind him. Be able to deny it. Probably will, but. Well, Kofi had just improved there as well. Oh no, he's just gone five thousands quicker than Kofi. Essence Acid coming to the end of his first timed lap, and it's P14 for him at the moment. I'm trying to keep an eye on who's going to the line. Oven Curry has gone P3. Legend going to cross the line here now. After his lap, he has improved and got up to P8. F1 Marley, McBot's teammate, of course, has just improved slightly up to P9. And then Ninja, five tenths up. This could be a really good lap. And again, it's only going to be P9 for now. Behind, I think, that is uh, Beandris. This is going to be his first timed lap as... Ninja has collided with Ryan Curran down into turn one and he's picked up a grid penalty as Kofi improves and goes P1. It's Jake May only starting a lap and that is Macker coming to the end of his. He's a tent up. He's going to need a lot more than that to get ahead at least of two Magnus. He has got closer but not close enough. Still worst out of all the timed times at the moment. Jinx is improving. And has improved enough to go on to provisional pole himself. A 128-1 is the best so far. Can Randro deny it? Almost. But he's got himself back up into P3. Lucas Paul. He has improved. Or he has not improved. Quattro has invalidated his. So his is irrelevant. And loses the rear end there as well. Uh, have you got back in there yet now, Manny? Uh, I'm about to restart again. So. Alright, I can... I could probably give you an invite here through um, the friends list. There you go. So still just looking, not much seems to be happening. A lot of people just coming into the pits. So, quite interesting phase here. Quattro, well, obviously invalidated his second run. He's only running P6 at the moment. 
And obviously Ninja's going to have to improve a lot now that he has that five-place grid penalty for the collision with Ryan Curran. And he's obviously racing as a bit of practice for a League of Ireland tomorrow. So I'm watching some guys go through with Jake, mate. Must have had a spin because he's just going to start a lap again. And I think that is Macker, who I thought was on a lap he isn't. JRR, six tenths up. This could possibly put him into the top ten now with this lap as he comes out of the final corner. Flat to the line, and it is the top ten. It's P9 for JRR, tier two champion last year. Uh, controversially, as Manny will probably say, he probably shouldn't have even been in it. No, I, I said he should have been in it, to be honest. He, I'm, I'm happy that that two got humbled. <laughs> He's getting humbled again by uh, to Magnus this this year. Although he's not he's not had a great start to qualifying as long as maybe Macker improves and it is expected of two Magnus as a tier two driver. He, he's not going to do as well as tier one as JR did because at the time JR was definitely tier one pace. But now uh, there's a lot more competitive grid. I don't think he'll be able to put that pace in that he used to have. Yeah. Of this competitive, I, I think he'll still be able to be there, maybe claim a few positions in the race from possibly a few spins or in get top five maybe. Yeah, well he's a very quick driver. He has a podium from tier one to prove for it. So we'll see what he's made of. Fifty and fifty and long races for this season. So we don't really know. It's Jake mate now coming to the end of his lap, and he slightly improves, but not improve enough to jump F1 Marley. Still only running P13. Uh, are you able to spectate there now? Yeah, I am. You are? Okay. Because my food has just arrived, so I'm going to just dish it out for a second. Just give your own bit of commentary there. Yeah, that's a good lap from him. Sorry for delay. Sweet and sour was wedged in, so it took a while. Yeah, like you said, Randro's the first one out uh, of the guys finishing their final runs. Um, so we'll I suppose we'll ride on board with his full lap. I don't think anyone else is on a lap. Obviously, Marty's finished his. I think actually Essence Acid was a tent up, but has abandoned that, so he's going to go again. Um, we'll see now. Uh, oh, Abrix uh, is also on a lap now. Abrix Click um, is setting his first lap, and uh, I think Macker is two seconds down, so that's he's not. So we'll keep an eye. Randro's coming out of the final corner, so he'll be next to switch on to, but we'll keep an eye here on the Aston Martin. Um, only in the server, he'll probably get a tier two C. He'll want to be in tier two as soon as possible, but at the moment. Just racing in tier one. 
got a little bit of control play bringing it to the side of this is interesting. If Ranzo ever got a wheel. Nah. And he's lost it. Abrick's click has lost it after invalidating. So Randall we'll ignore that. One. We'll switch to Randro, right, who Mark has ten. gone first so far. A lot to improve on. Last time we were here, he was on pole. Will he be on pole again? Unfortunately, we don't have the stat for how many poles. We'll have to work on that during the week. Who's on pole for what race and how many poles there's been. We'll see now. Randro has... 10 podiums to his name. 5 wins to his name. And could be another pole position to his name because he's gone fastest in the second sector and the first sector. He is two tenths up on his time and he's gonna go around the final corner now and randro 17 has oh, gone wide man, he's wide. gone wide he's kept it but has he improved he hasn't he's coming to the pits p3 at best so next across the line will be macker on his final run he is gonna come to the line he is not going to improve ryan curran this is his only lap and it's gonna put him p13 next across the line oven curry Coming to the end, and behind him, I think that's SLR Quattro. No, it's not. It's B. Andrus. He's finished. Ninja next across the line. As Oven Curry also comes into the pits. Ninja has improved. Oh no, Lucas Paul. He's out. Faze McBaugh, two tenths up. Jinx has DNF'd. He has retired. And Faze McBot, only P3. So it's all down to Quattro, who's currently two tenths up. Is it going to be enough for him? As he goes through, it's, it's only P5. P5. This is... Oh. I don't think we're going to see a dip into the 27. We could have seen it from Randro. We could have seen it from Randro. Could have seen it possibly even from Jinx if he had got to finish that lap. But it looks like he's going to be on pole anyway as Legend, one of our reserves, does Alfa Romeo a huge favour and gets up into P4. Finally, it's Marley. But he has invalidated and that is the end of qualifying definitely a better qualifying than what it was like tonight um today in real f1 dnfs people messing up the final corner is what denies randro but as we come to the end of qualifying legend. yeah it was a brilliant lap from legend there at the end jrr also improved by a huge amount Ninja needed to improve, and he did. Got himself up in the P6, but with Legend and JRR both improving, it's knocked him back down to P9, which means he'll start the race from P14. Oh, Lucas Paul, DNF'd as well. He is currently the driver on the most amount of points in RSL history, 263. Hopefully he keeps that today. So do you want to run down through the grid, Manny? We have Jinx setting a 128.1 for pole position. We have Kofi, half a tenth below him. We have Facebook Bot on P3. Legend, Drive in P4. Randro in P5. And Quattro dipping down to P6. Not, probably wasn't his best qualifying lap, but I don't know, maybe we'll see something different in the race. Yeah, P7. Alun Curry at P8. Ninja, P9. Oh. And Lucas Paul rounds off the top 10. That was about it. Yeah, well, that's all the relevant bit. I don't know if you've seen, yeah, but I, I have set I set qualifying to um, dusk, so it was kind of like, you know, like a bit like a bit bright outside, yeah. but the race, just like in real life, is going to be fully black. So we'll see who's going to win the crucial round one. Of the return of CTCR. I'm just seeing mechanics doing A poses in front of the pit boxes. This is what we want to see. This is top tier. Yeah, I love the uh, where the, the mechanics. Get a screen shot up. Nice and uh, nice and relaxed before the race, to say the least. They uh, have no clue what's happening. <laughs> 
I'm just trying to eat my food without sounding uh, very loud. So here we go. The formation lap begins. And Jinx is going to lead the drivers away. So Jinx is going to start from P1 with Kofi and P2. Faze McBot has been overtaken. Is that Oven Curry or who's that? Is that Macker? Macker's got himself all the way up in the P2. I don't know what he's doing there. He needs to be careful and give them back. Yeah, he's going to let the guys back by. As I think that's Randro trying to hold up the field a bit and Legend getting caught in the back as well. I don't really know what's happening at the moment. Randro is going to have to get closer. That definitely doesn't look like 10 car lengths to me. I don't know. Either I'm blind. Uh, I'm, sh I'm sure he will. He needs to be within 10 car lengths going into the final, going into where it says uh, park your car. And um, I'm sure he's, he's smart enough than that. Obviously, he knows how to bend the rules, but not break them. Uh, especially when he's seeing all the things that Psych kind of got away with. He thinks, sure, if he got away with it, I'm going to get away with it too. So he's playing an interesting game as... Essence Acid collides with Ryan Curran. Both of them are going to start on ice cold tyres. Now, what is interesting is nobody, only one person is starting on the hard, and that is JR. The person yeah. who practiced with me now has the best strategy because he will deny, and legend actually, I'm sure. He starts yeah. on hard, so he denies that entire warm-up period for the hard tyres. Yeah. And trades it off on the mediums, and will be faster at the end of the race as well. Yeah, so um, we'll see how that works out at the end. Obviously, starting P7 is really good from the Tier 2 winner. Uh, a lot better than probably what Jackie Gabbana was like last season. Uh, so we have Lucas Paul as well. As There's Jinx gone for a spin down towards the final corner. I think that was on purpose, because he likes doing yeah, that. So that can be the thought. Yeah. And then Lucas Paul is obviously starting on the soft, so that's interesting. That's kind of the same strategy as I think Jack went for, as now Jinx is going to fire ahead and is going to get ready now for the start of this race. So Red Bull won in Tier 2 last night, and Red Bull line up in P1 for the start of this race. So we'll see what's about to happen. A lot of people getting the parking on. Yep, and that could be crucial. So, it's a new season here in CTCR. We're back to CTCR. And as the drivers line up and the lights are about to go blank, here we are, the Bahrain Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go and Kofi gets a much better reaction than Jinx and he's already up and ahead and up into P1. An excellent start as it looks like Randro's also going to try and dive one down the inside as someone spun off but Jinx is going to try hold it back around the outside as them two go side by side. Jinx and Kofi, Jinx keeps the lead. Randro has jumped McBot, he's up in the P3 but McBot's trying to stay with him. Quattro not too far behind as Kofi lunges one down the inside of turn four. And is he going to get ahead? It looks like he is. They're still side by side. This is an excellent battle. As they've contact. And Jinx has gone round. Jinx has gone round. And McBot has gone down the inside of Alderman and taken the lead. But Kofi stays ahead. What a start. I had to get that one for you, Jaffa. Oh my. That was... Not, not the start Jinx was hoping for. And it was definitely the start that Kofi and Landro were hoping for. I don't know and Phase McBot, what a crazy start, and Kofi collides with the rear tyre of Jinx, and Jinx spins off. So McBot leads the way here on lap one. As I don't think Jinx has really dropped too far behind either. I think obviously he is a lot a good bit further behind, but he's not as far behind as he would have thought he would with that huge spin. Here we go. Kofi now is getting close to McBot. And is he close enough to make a move? He's definitely gaining on him as Marley gets by JRR. Them two are racing side by side. But it's Kofi and McBot, the two that are 
going out of here. And McBot does some great defending there to stay with him. But Kofi gets a good exit. He's going to go for it down into turn four. Oh, a bit of contact. I thought McBot went off there. He just kind of leaves it around the outside. He's going to try and stick with it. A bit of wheel banging again. Kofi possibly under investigation for what happened with Jinx. If that was his fault or was it a racing incident, we really don't know. But he's trying a here on McBot. But McBot is aggressive, a lot more aggressive than Jinx. And he will keep the lead. So Habrix is trying to make his way. Landro is probably the most patient driver on the grid, so he's just waiting for something to happen between these two, and then take the lead of the race. Yeah, they're still going at it, and Landro's kind of playing the game that McBot played between himself and Lucas Paul two seasons ago, where them two are kind of scrapping it out, and McBot kind of just sat behind, and then all of a sudden the collision happened as Beandris has gone for a spin there down at uh, I think that's turn 11 so Kofi is joined as Ninja also has lost a place there to Macker who seems to be flying he's up in the P12 obviously not a great race for him last time but he's doing well now as Oven Curry seems to be getting a bit of a gap away from Marley as these five are all battling for the lead here goes Kofi oh there's they're side by side He's, what a great exit. Landros go through as well. Well, what a move that is there from Kofi, and what a move that is by Randro, but McBot is getting the elbows out. He doesn't want to lose two places. He's already lost one, and look at Quattro. These two going quite close indeed as well. From, this may be from E9 all the way to P1. It may be just a DRS train. Yeah, yeah like because with all that battling, it's allowed Marley to catch back up. And it's all the way down to Douglas now. And you can kind of see there where the rest of the grid split apart. As I think that's Essence Acid, who's got on top of the curb and lost the car. But that's and not what we're focusing on. Oh, no, he is, he's going to hopefully get back in. He better. So McBot had to compromise his exit there, and it's allowed. Quattro. Like the there as well. Yeah, he'll get the better exit though, McBot. Kofi is going to try and break away. They're all burning their ERS. They're trying to stay in this battle and get the best position they can. This is where the collision happened last time. And luckily, Randro has stayed in it a little bit longer than three laps. I wonder how JR has lost all them positions to the end of 14. Here goes McBot like again. Really Down the inside goes the McLaren. He's back up into the lead, and Quattro's going to go for it on Kofi, too. And he gets it done. What a move. Well. Oh, oh they've hit. They've hit. They've crashed. And Randro and Kofi are off. That is not what you want to see. Oh, that, that is. That's a big crash there. At the back, and Kofi's got the worst of it. Well, Randro hasn't got much great luck either. His teammate, though, it's Jake May, has got himself into a... Brilliant battle here. He's up in the P5. As uh, I'm going to focus on getting the best driver on the grid back into the lobby. Okay. You do that, you do that. Yep, I just sent him an invite there. Yeah, all the way down to Jake, mate, now after that spin. That caused a massive ripple in. One Macker going side by side with Ninja. Ninja. Still at the back He's... of the grid, not being able to make any progress, though. Yep. Essence Acid has gone for it on Griffin, and in doing so, Jinx has got by Griffin as well. We'll focus back on the leaders, although everything seems to be happening down at the back. So, FaZe McBot is going to try and pull away here from Quattro, but Quattro obviously with DRS, very similar ERS the two of them have. He's going to burn it. And is he going to go for it? He loves a nice dive bomb. He's going to just stay nice and close.
still just fall forward so far down. Not what he wanted. So F1 Marley has just got by its Jake mate, who picks up the first penalty for exceeding track limits. So it's been a good return so far for Marley. Still yet to pick up a podium. And could this be the day on his return? McBot seems to be breaking away. He seems to be breaking away. Oh, and Lucas Paul's round. And his AI is just going to sit there and let everyone by and get to it. Yep, that you hate to see that. Not what you want to see. Not at all. And it's Jake May and Merlier having a great battle here as they go down into turn four. These two trading places often. Merlier kind of doing a bit better on the old ERS battery though and probably has the advantage but is losing time to Oven Curry and Oven Curry seems to be losing a bit of time to Quattro and McBot. So it's Williams versus McLaren here as I'm sure McBot loves that McLaren and he has SLR Quattro chasing him down. As Ryan Curran goes for a lovely spin. You can't have a race without Ryan Curran spinning. Wow. I still in the air and he's got 67% error. That's basically almost double what the two fighters up top have. Will that play into the hands of him in the next straight league just full deploy it? Quattro is a lot closer to McBot than he was on the previous lap with DRS he's going to go for it even without ERS they bang tyres they go into turn one and the last season's champion takes the lead only separated by about a metre between them McBot's going to go for it back at him down the inside goes the McLaren will he stick it they're side by side. Oh. McBot gets the elbows out. But Quattro has the better exit. And he takes the lead. The season 4 champion. Wants to be a season 5 champion. He's doing just that. He's currently P1. But McBot goes yeah. back down the inside. Yes. I don't know why you would do that if I were you. I'd just stick with him and try and get the DRS on him. Well, McBot is an aggressive driver and he wants the position. Oh, he spun him round oh, and Oven Curry goes straight through the middle of them. Oh, Oven Curry with a lot more ERS now. And that's Ryan Curran in the wall. And that's the first safety car. Ryan Curran in the wall at turn five. He has lost it. He's hit the barriers. And that, well, I'd say that's definitely something that Quattro wanted to hear. It's got F1 Merley up into the podium. McBot, in doing so now, had Oven Curry go right down the inside. This could be anyone's race to win. Now, I'm sure that Lucas Paul, Randro and Kofi love to hear that. Now, Oven Curry is in. Faze McBot is in. And F1 Merley also wants to come in, which means it's Jake, mate, is going to fire into the lead of the race. Very close to that one, Marley. You just basically held up back to the Douglas. I believe him very sharp. That will also harm. Jake, mate, will take the lead of the race at this time. Yes, it does. Yeah, Macker also yeah. stays out, so he's in P2. The only two drivers with penalties are the ones that take the lead, and Oven Curry out. Just ahead of Jinx, who decided not to pit. Absolutely perfect. That's a question. What's that? 
It is. Well, the good thing about that now is Oven Curry has a car's length between himself and Faze McBot. So it's in his hands now. Unless another safety car comes out, it's in Oven Curry's hands. He has the one second advantage now. And McBot still has Quattro alongside him because obviously McLaren had to double stack. And Marley lost out to Douglas as well. The rest of the drivers will be able to go to the end of the race on these hard tyres if they just save it. So yeah, unfortunately, I think he lost the position in the safety car. I don't think too much to do about that. And I think he managed. Doesn't want to give this position back to Gerard. Oh, that was close there. Between ABR and Gerard. Almost pitted. Is that Master that pitted? Yeah, Master has pitted. So he done that. He done that last week as well. He stayed out for a lap, yeah. and then he came in, and now he's going to drop all the way down to P18. So. Questionable decision. Now races for Ferrari, apparently. Jinx also comes in now, so he's back down to P17. And on one lap record, I have all the distance. My question is, how did Jinx get back ahead of Macker when Macker went into the pits first? Uh, Rebel Mechanic. Probably. Maybe Alpha Terry had to make way for Red Bull. Probably. It's Jake, mate, the only one not to pit who's leading this race. Now, obviously, with Jinx pitting, it's given McBot a chance to get right in the back of Oven Curry yet again. Which is going to make this restart very interesting indeed. No matter who is in the Alpha Terry seat, they are always in a chance of winning. So it last one, definitely. Yeah. Now, Landro is going to have to overtake seven people to regain me from what he spun on. I am fuming. I have just dropped a piece of chip onto my Ferrari top with a load of sweet and sour on it. So there goes that, wearing that tomorrow. I'm going to have to throw this in the wash. That is a very yeah. big me problem, but the safety car is in this lap, so we've something else now to cheer about. We're gonna watch. Do you want to the, the it's Jake, restart? mate. Ah, uh, we'll do it together. It's only a safety car restart. We'll see what happens. It's Jake, mate, going to be the one to get us underway. When is he gonna go? It's Kofi oh, or it's Oven Curry. Yeah, it just taps the back of him. Oven Curry being ever so careful. And he's gone. And I think McBot's going to get him here because they're side by side. He's he's burning it. He's dropped back behind. He wants to get in the slipstream. He's probably going to pull to the outside now. No, he's going to dummy. He's going to go to the inside. Quattro has gone for it. Round the outside, and round the outside of Oven Curry. What a move that is by the Season 4 champion. And he's up into net P1. It's Jake May kind of pushing a little bit further away as Oven Curry and McBot still go side by side here. This didn't end well for Kofi and Jinx. But it looks like it's ending well for these two. They're racing side by side cleanly. And Oven Curry is going to keep it. There's yellow flags as Essence Acid is off. And McBot dives down the inside and takes back P3 and net P2. And Oven Curry's going to get right back on the back of him. He's going to pull now, possibly. 
to the outside. This is all looking good for Quattro, who's pulled a bit of a gap now. Two to two battling at the back there. And as we see, I think JRR, Marley and Douglas also having a three-way battle. Marley seems to be getting the better of that at the moment. But at the moment... And there it goes. Someone else. It's Abrix click. Yeah. He's... Yeah, I think it's Abrix or Abrix click. Abrix click, something like that. I'll have to double check with that. Yeah, we'll have to double check with that, but Quattro's gaining on it. Jake yeah, May, he's in no rush. Oh, he's gone for it on Marley. Marley's gone up in the air. I think that was probably a latency issue. Yeah. yeah. See, DRS. DRS. Oh, he's gone. He's gone round. That's unfortunate. F1 he's lost the car. Decent, but JR, I know he's not patient for what I've practiced with, but if he's not patient, he wants to get past him as soon as possible. Yeah, it looks like Randro and Kofi are having a battle, and Kofi's got through. Legends also got through on two Magnus there. I'm, I'm just going to keep an eye on the front. Ooh, that's two Magnus. Touches Legend, and Legend's gone straight off. He's off the track, and he's going to get overtaken by not one, not two, but three cars, and rejoins just ahead of Griffin, who's trying to make back places now with Macca right on the back of him. Macca that was just going to... That promising for Legend in the qualifying session, but not gone well in the race. Yeah, he was doing well there as well, and he just got a bit of a tag off Magnus and has lost out now to Magnus. Uh, Lucas Paul and Jinx and JRR is getting right in the back of Marley as this should be the lap DRS is re-enabled it looks like Quattro with how close he is to it's Jake May it's going to get by either way it's Jake May tries to break the toe but with Quattro gaining he'll probably wait now down to turn four but he need yeah, to do it quick I would risk it if I were you Quattro I'd just stick with it you he is to pick. oh he's oh, tapped no, into no, the back of him Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's lost it himself. And McBot is going to take the lead. And Quattro has dropped all the way down to P8. A dodgy re-entry, but Kofi's going to get him. Randro's going to get the better exit of all of them. They go three out of three oh, wide. Yeah, Randro takes the move, gets ahead of Quattro, and Kofi is up in the P7. What a move by the Mercedes driver. He, he is. He is, and, and that is... Well, it's Jake Mate will probably know the history between the two. There was a lot of talk during that during season three when both of them are racing. He knows the history between Randro and McBot. He's going to do everything he can to hold up McBot and get Randro possibly right in the back of him as soon as possible. But Randro will be under pressure from Quattro behind. It's so much people battling for the win here. And three drivers here that I thought would be battling for the win are all battling now for P7 at the moment. It's anyone's race to win at this stage. But realistically, the favourite is either McBot or Ovan Curry. For a second time, McBot has gained positions off of SLR Quattro's Yeah, and so, it's Jake, mate, is going to burn uh, all of his ERS here to try and get away from McBot. He seems to have a quite high down or low downforce setup, so he is gaining away. But it's going to be eventually about time for his Jake mate to make way. As I overtake in the hyper on this straight, I think. And that I think means that's he's a, up to P4. Yeah, that's Marley a and Ninja going side by side, but Marley gets the move done. It's a lovely move there. As McBot is kind of just hiding behind and waiting. To see the flashing light on the back of it's Jake Mate's car to show that he's derailing. I think um, he's just waiting for the fact that he doesn't need to make any risk to move because uh, Jake Mate has to hit very mm. soon within at least three or two laps. So if he only has to do is just get that DRS pull away from the people behind and he just doesn't need to overtake or make any risk to move. He'll take a few more things. Yeah, of course. It's a hectic race. We, we've spent the whole race commentating in no time really just to talk. It's Jake Mate gets a bit of oversteer out of turn 13. That is an amazing overtake by McBot who takes the lead and Oven Curry is going to snatch down the inside too. But has he overtaken off the track? 
He doesn't think he has. He no, keeps he the position. Have. Yeah, it looked like he might have gone a little bit wide. And he's going to get right in the back of McBot now with DRS and a lot more ERS. So Jake here goes Oven Curry. Yep, it's Jake Mates in and Oven and Curry. A five second penalty. Oh, that is not going to help his race. He'll drop right to the back anyway as Oven Curry gains on McBot. McBot defends and takes the lead of the race. Yeah, maybe I'll capitalize on this position of Lighting up ahead and maybe I'll sing a log time. Oven Curry dive down the inside there. And I think he's got the move done. McBot's gonna have the better exit. They're still side by side. This hasn't oh, ended well before. These two are really good at racing with each other. There hasn't been a collision between them. And that may be sh showing. Look at look at that gap now, JR close six tenths in that one corner decent battle. Yeah, he's really? going to have to do a lot more though because there's no way those mediums are going all the way to the end. He's just going to have to overtake and put in some fast laps to be able to, be able to finish. Oh, the Oven Curry yeah. launched one down the inside and he's lost it. And Oven Curry, it's going to be a McLaren 2 3 and Randro has got himself back up into P5. Oh, I think that's only Oven Curry's to blame there. He's launched one down the inside. And it was McBot's corner to take. And Oven Curry oh, yeah. spins out because of it. So now, McBot is going to probably go on and win this race. Griffin is around there at the exit of turn 13. But at the moment, we're halfway through this Grand Prix. And only one DNF and one safety car. It's been a great race so far. Oh, well, I said it. You are absolutely terrible, Dapple. Don't <laughs> say anything about it was LOI Griffin who has slammed the barriers and has lost his front wing. Oh no, was it McBot? Did McBot spin? No, McBot just slowed down. Yeah, I just overtook him under the safety car. That's interesting. Will he give that position back? Probably not. I'm going to have to have a look at that. I think he was just crazy that McBot had to slow down. Yeah, I didn't, so he just went on through to say he could pass. I, I don't know what's up with these guys picking up penalties under the safety car, but you can really tell how the grid is split into everyone in the bottom half pretty much with a penalty, and the top half, um, I wouldn't say they'll even have warnings. That just shows the difference in tier 1 and tier 2. Tier 1 drivers can keep it on the track while also being faster. Tier 2 drivers don't have that accuracy. They've got to keep it on track and not get the time penalty. Uh, well, except me. I didn't I didn't get a time penalty oh, last night. Didn't even. I didn't even get a warning last night. Yeah, yeah. I got a time penalty. Um, I got one because I was evading an incident. That, that was one of my warnings. And I couldn't really care if the time penalty gets me or not because I... I had a lucky race. Yeah. Got an idea for that. Oh, Jar's gonna come in. He's gonna capitalise. Yeah. Well, this is his this is his best chance. Himself and Legend more than likely are gonna come in. I don't know. Will Legend go back in? Is he gonna stay on? A few more are in actually. I think maybe. SLR Quattro, crucially, is in. I think Jinx has yeah. saved his race here. He's back up at the P6. Yeah, They're all going to go into mediums. It really depends now. And it's Jake, mate, has yeah. also kind of gained a bit as well. He's back up into P10. He's having a great return. As Mercedes yeah. are doing well. But what I love, McLaren 1-2. And what you love is probably your idol of the league, Randro 17, back up into P3, right on the back of Marley. Now he has a lot of respect for Marley, so and Marley I think has a lot of respect for him. So these two are gonna probably have a good fair battle. I hope to see, and we'll see what happens. So I'll ask you now because I think we're probably gonna have another lap under this safety car. Who do you see winning this race? What do you see your podium being like? Uh, this is gonna be controversial of anything, but I think Ethel Mal is gonna try and get the glory away from Faith McMahon, and it's gonna end up. 
and an Andrew Ooh. still capitalise on the amount of times that people have spun and collided. He's known for it, so I'm thinking it's going to go Landro wins the race when it's the turn. Kofi just seems pretty quick right now, he's going to go P2 definitely. And Owen Curry also seems like, I don't know, he's 3 to 5 that's going to be your place. Okay, that's interesting. Myself, I think, I think it's so far it's been written for McBaugh. He hasn't got involved in an incident, and maybe that means that there's one coming for him. But at the moment, I think he's drove exceptionally. And although maybe from one incident, um, I think he's he hasn't done he hasn't put a foot wrong today. And I think he's going to win this race. I don't think Marley will have the pace of Randro and Kofi behind. I think Randro will take P two, but I think because of Kofi and Oven Curry and their kind of um, they're kind of like I don't really know how to say it but they, they love to battle they love to have a go at other drivers I feel like they could miss out and Jinx has put in a good performance today obviously he got really unlucky off lap with the lap one incident but when Lucas Paul oh, picked up a penalty after racing Kofi and Oven Curry in Austria but uh few months back, I know that they can give you a really good fight. They are, they were way faster than me, definitely. But yeah, but they're, they're acceptable, they're, they're success, susceptible to a possible spin. So I think, yeah. I think Jinx is going to capitalise on that. And I think he's going to take up the third spot on the podium. So it'll be McBot, yeah, Randro, Jinx. Yeah, I think it's so I'm going to just move my mic and try to finish my dinner before um, the restart. Uh, and we'll see what happens. Interesting thing, Gerard, everybody ahead of him, all nine drivers from P9 P1 on nine or eight lap old hard. He's on fresh medium. Could he be able to gain a few positions off the race start or maybe even... Maybe even just to be able to pick it few people off because of the one step softer tyres and the amount of pace that they can get in the hard tyres. Round about three tens I believe. Per lap. I don't think I'd ever see this from what I gave to McLaren. McLaren won two. Oh, well, you got a 2-3 in um, Netherlands last year, so you can't complain I too was, much. I was, I was definitely not McLaren's best driver. I've never been McLaren's best driver. And I was just upset that I got one podium. I was phased with Bob. Yep, your, your, predic <laughs> your prediction is wrong. Because Marley's playing the team game here. He's held up the guys, and McBot has gone away but Randro yeah too quick it looks like he's gonna get by he's gonna try it they're bounced they bang tires Randro's got it Randro has got the move Marley's gonna try and stick it around the outside I think Randro's just too quick Kofi Kofi's round Oh, my prediction is coming absolutely perfect at the moment. All we need is Oven Curry to go around and Jinx to overtake Marley. And Ninja also loses it and he's dropped right back to the back of the grid. JRR gets by Essence Acid as those medium runners are going to try. He's going to gain so many positions just because of the amount of time he's going to be able to stretch out those tires. Yeah, I think it's safe to say with no more, if there's no more safety cars... It's going to be Randro and McBot 1-2 because Marley will not have the pace to keep up with Randro. And eventually there's going to be a gap to build between them. Now the real question is, will Randro have the pace to gain a further two seconds and get closer to McBot? I mean, that, that really does depend now. Randro really wants him to up, really turning that ERS. They have actually kind of similar ERS right now, but Randro's on control. He's that a different advantage, but he's still as quick as he is. What's happening in midfield? Take plate off! Take plate is off! He's off and, and into the wall. He's lost an end plate. 
And Randro, although he's having a brilliant race, his teammate not so much. He's off and he's into the pit lane. Obviously the longest serving driver here in CTCR. And he's not going to get his dream comeback as he would have liked. He's to serve. Hopefully he serves his five second penalty. He's going to get the new wing on Macker. as Macker. Oh, there's a lot of spinning behind this and Macker. Yeah, the tier one, the tier two guys seem to be struggling there with yeah. spinning. Obviously, Macker, I was speaking to him today himself and Essence Acid, both of them want to improve a lot. And Essence Acid doing a fine job for himself, himself and Lucas yeah. Paul, P9 and 10. Essence Acid no. probably won't put up much of a fight here for Lucas Paul. Obviously, my idol. Oh, he does. He wants to keep the position, you know, Acid. And that in doing so, Kofi is going to go for it right around the outside. And what a move that is. Some brilliant overtakes I've caught on stream here. Probably going to be amazing for the TikTok, hopefully tonight. Yeah, Quattro is going to overtake Douglas on the back straight. Yep, Quattro is definitely going to be one of the favourites. Yep, he's going to be, he's going to be, oh, he's, he's just set the fastest lap there. I think Quattro is the favourite to pick up this third podium slot. He has nine seconds to get ahead of Jinx. As Oven Curry goes down the inside of F1 Marley. Marley tries to stay with him. But I think Oven Curry's going to get it. No, he's not. Marley has stayed ahead. Yep, the three of them are battling here for the final podium spot. In doing so, Quattro is gaining tenths on tenths out of each corner. And with those fresh mediums... It's just going to be like a knife going through butter. He'll just slice through them. Yeah, he just, if he has a quicker tire, if he's quicker than someone, he just goes by them. And there's no problems wow. with it. Obviously, a spin going out of turn two is what kind of caused him to be down. Yeah, I'm sure if you can keep an eye... I'm sure you will be anyway, but if you can keep an eye on that, and we'll just have a look, we'll have a look to see if them two do come to any sort of battle towards the end of the race. But at the moment, season two as well. He's he wants to get by the season five champion, and unfortunately, he can't. Because he's the season five champion, Lucas Ball, seventy three with seventy three on the back. I'm thinking of introducing driver numbers next uh, race. Um, before I even ask. Yeah, but they're still side by side because Marley is burning his ERS. He's derating though. He gets the elbows out going through turn two. He's trying his very best. A snap of oversteer from Quattro from Oven Curry. I keep saying Quattro because he's in a Alpha Terry like last season. Oven Curry down the inside. Bangs tires with Marley. Marley goes wide. Oh, another snap of oversteer from Oven Curry. And that would be a nice, not a nice overtake from Oven Curry. Actually, it's gonna be a switchback trap on Marley. He's done enough. And look at that. Look at the blue car that's got in there. Oh, that's a lovely move. F1 Marley. It's gonna take it. Look at this. Four drivers going down. He's on the curb. He's off. Oh, Quattro's round. And so too is Oven Curry. Oh, everyone is losing time here. Jinx, look at him now. Jinx is gonna. This is this is literally what I predicted. All I have to do that is Jinx to get by Marley, that. and that's the prediction. Yeah, he's he's caught back up, and Quattro will be killing himself, and so too will Love and Curry, and of course so too. Um, oh no, it was just them two, them two that spun out, obviously. Obviously, I thought Marley was going to lose out there. He was the one that got on the curb, got very close. As that's Griffin gone around the Haas two, the Haas pairing at the moment not doing much. That is the same as last time, and that's going to be a really interesting restart. JRR back into the pits, almost everyone back into the pits, but my goat stays out. Yeah, I think everyone, everyone will come in for the softs. And where's he going to come out? P7. That's going to, it's going to be an interesting final few laps. 
But it's at the moment, it's, really. it's Mercedes who are on the first tree at the moment. Mercedes powered cars with McBot, Randro, and Marley leading the way. Now, obviously, McBot and Randro and all of them still can come in. Now, they're really susceptible to JRR because if he does get by Quattro and Jinx or Quattro and Lucas Paul, he has three old hard runners to get by. Yeah, he'll he'll breeze by them. He's not a fast driver. Those soft tyres versus those old hard ones definitely give him the advantage in me. Yeah. I'm not now, saying that just to try and make fun of him, but yeah. he's fast. But the front runners still can pit because obviously they haven't caught up to the safety car. Everyone is still under a delta, so they still can pit now. They haven't been totally ruined. Now, is it Faye McBorton going to risk the lead of the race pit? Will Randro? It's now or never. Faye McBot. He's going to come into the pits. He's diving Will into Randall the pits. Yes, Randro is going to come in as well. Randro's no, followed him. No, Marley has two. No, Jinx. So Quattro. He's keeping the lead of the race. Look who's in the lead. Look who's in the lead. Hopefully they all crash. And this guy wins. Uh, we don't know. See, his, 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 his mediums aren't that worn. Like, he only had, what is this, six more laps? If he can hold on and just wait for those softs to get a little bit more worn than everyone else's. His penalty is a five seconds. He could maybe get that removed. It depends. I don't know. He's in the lead of the race. That's all I'm happy about. We'll see if he keeps it. He's not going to be able to be careful. Those soft tyres will immediately use the, those mediums. And Randro definitely is faster than Lucas Paul. So he's do you know, driver do you know what I like looking at? Look at that top tree. Does that remind you of anything? That is a spicy top tree. That is controversial. That's what that, is a, that is a blast from the past. Lucas Paul in the Ferrari leading with Faze McBot in P2 in the McLaren. And Randro 17 in the Mercedes. The three championship protagonists in season two are going to go at it again. But this time they have another real spicy guy back in P6, the current champion. Can he get involved? We'll see. It'll stay out for one more lap. It'll come in. So 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. We'll have five more laps of racing for Lucas Paul to hold on. Oh my god, that! <laughs> I'm never letting you do my math on what fella. I just needed to count, I just needed to count. See, I get confused yeah. sometimes, because when I see lap 25, I'm minus 29, and uh, I get 4, but it's not, it's obviously 5, because I forget to include 29. Now, realistically, how I should do that is I should round it up to 30, go plus one, and then subtract it, but, oh well. Now, what would be interesting is that penalty that Lucas Paul has. I thought it was going into the pits there. Nope. Lucas Paul has that five-second time penalty, but that can get removed because it was dealt under a safety car from a collision. Now, maybe that could be a slight tap, but if you know this game is inconsistent with that, yeah, well, like, it, it it could be his fault as well. You also have to, you also have to see that. Like, if that gets removed, he will be man of the hour, eight position game. So obviously, Lucas Paul is no stranger to the podium. Oh, this is written in the stairs here. Lucas Paul with ten podiums himself, and fifty percent of that being wins. Hasn't been on the podium since Singapore of last season. Hasn't won a race. Ferrari as a team haven't won a race. Listen to this. Since China of t of season two. You know what I find interesting? Yeah, Ferrari has the most amount. Their drivers have the most amount of podiums on the grid. And they'll be earning one extra. That I know for a fact to be just for he probably wasn't the fastest in this game, but when he needs to be, he be fast, and that is going to be now. Please don't jinx him. 
please, for the love of God, don't jinx him. But that, that is correct. Paolo and Lucas Paul both have the most amount of combined podiums. Paolo with four. Lucas Paul with ten. That's some record. And obviously, because of that, they're also the most amount of points. Here we go. Tense moment for Lucas Paul now. Yep. Um, we'll have to wait and see. It's been like the real Bahrain Grand Prix of last season. Everyone at least making two pit stops. Sometimes even three. And it's going to be the Ferrari who almost slams into McBot. When will he go? As Griffin has gone again. And so too is Macker. And Don't Lucas Paul's go. gone. And McBot's gone with him. Lucas Paul burning the ERS. He's a good setup. He's gaining. He's gaining on McBot. He's McBot's not getting closer. And Lucas Paul remains in the lead. But obviously with those softs, you'll see now through the corners on the exits, McBot will be quicker. As they all now head up through the corners. I'm looking at the back. No, everyone seems to be getting ahead. Nice and okay. And Lucas Paul crucially keeps the lead for at least the first lap. So obviously there was two laps under safety car, which may have worn the softs a bit as Essence Acid picks up another penalty. Douglas has crucially gone round as he's trading places with Magnus. McBot goes down the inside. Lucas Paul keeps it. Oh, and a bit of a bit of oversteer. Randro's going for it on McBot. Is he going to get it done? McBot keeps it for now. And he has Jinx right in the back of him. Because of this, Lucas Paul is gaining away. This is excellent stuff here at the moment. And because of that, McBot has lost a bit of time to Lucas Paul. He should gain it nice and quick. Lucas Paul be pushing for all his might to try and stay ahead. And Randro right on the back of McBot now. And Jinx really right on the back of Randro here. Possibly the podium is near for him. A bit of a latency issue between them two. I think we've lost Manny. Manny, you still here? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm just taking in this moment. This is a moment we haven't seen for seasons and seasons. Um, obviously, everyone wanted Randro to win, but it's going to be loose to fall. Definitely. Well, he, 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 has, he has the perfect setup for this at the moment because you can see McBot is burning, but he can't gain. And a snap of oversteer means that he's going to lose even more time. And Lucas Paul I'm remains sorry, in the lead. Happened. This is exactly what happened in that practice race. Faith McBot doesn't have the setup to be able to catch Lucas Paul in a straight line. So it's like when I was battling with that tier one driver for the lead, even though that tier one driver was definitely passing me, he didn't have the ear to do it. You can see on the exits, he, he is getting, he is much quicker through the corners. They're really close, and he's maybe gonna send it. It's a safety car. It's a safety car. Another safety car. Lucas Paul, a chance of the win. There are three laps left of the wait. It'll come in on lap 27, so it's only gonna be out for one lap now. I want to see how this safety car was caused. I'm sure, I don't think Lucas Paul would have liked that because now he's getting further ahead and it, it, it was for Legend. Legend has lost his front wing. Legend has no front wing. I thought it might have been Griffin again. I, I don't have the best of what he said to me in the previous week, but I still have high hopes for him in this race. He qualifies what he thought in qualifying and I really expect him to get at least top seven or top eight in this race and I feel so bad that he's just gone out like this. He should have been up there with these top guys. You know what? Now, Ignore penalties at the out. moment. I have a feeling this penalty will be removed. So if Lucas Paul crosses oh, the line to win if if Lucas Paul crosses the line to win, I am saying Lucas Paul has won. If if it doesn't get removed, if it doesn't get removed, I'll change it, and I'll make McBot win. Uh, I'll I'll change it. Well, I don't know. I'll I'll change it. I have a feeling that it wasn't Lucas Paul's fault. Maybe it was because 
everyone having to brace so badly to someone. He wasn't expecting it, and that's where we probably got it from a little bit of a tag. It probably cost him those time as well, cost him with some kind of front lead and or something. But yeah. it's not a simulation, I wouldn't expect that. But it may not be a sport, so if we could fall and bring it home for Ferrari today, this is not what I was expecting. I'll be happy if Lando just at least scores the podium while Lucas Paul takes his first win. If he spins it under a safe star now, I will be devastated. I will never be able to forgive Lucas Paul. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the chat. There seems to be not much going on in the chat. We've only five viewers at the moment. But we have now the safety car is almost guaranteed to come in this lap. It is. We have two laps of racing ahead of us. And Lucas Paul has gained his ERS right back up to 100%. As so has now, everyone. Now, Randro and Faye, Randro, Faye's not got Jinx, Flatter, Charlie, and Jair will have a final chance. And Kofi as well. Will have a final chance of taking that race win that they've all been in a position for at one point. Well, all I'm happy to see is Lucas Paul leading the race. Uh, as I've said many times now, he has gone and he is gotten a good restart. Macker's picked up a penalty for a collision and Douglas has gone off. But Randro's going for it. Randro's going for it. His Spanish friend. Randro's gone. Randro's gone. Oh no. That is very, very interesting. And that's opened the doors for Jinx. It's and opened the doors for Quattro. Mercedes, absolutely. Oh, there'll be no fireworks in that Mercedes going there. They have oh, both, both of them. And, and both spun. McBot's so gone for it on Lucas Paul. Oh, he's got the move done. He's got the move done. Hopefully he doesn't ruin it completely, Lucas Paul. And keeps his composure and maybe at least stays on the podium. At least on track, McBot. No, he doesn't want that. He wants that race win. Lucas Paul has gone for it. Lucas Paul has got race win. He's got it. He's back up into the lead. He's back up into the lead. McBot's gone for it. And he's gone back round the outside and takes back the position. But you know how quick Lucas Paul is in a straight line. He's coming back at McBot again. Every all the drama yeah, yeah. is happening in the final race. Here goes Quattro now. Lucas Paul oh, keeps it. Here it is, the final lap, the final lap of this race. He is he flying it. Gonna He's gonna launch one the, down the inside. He He's gone for it. McBot's oh. gonna hold way, and he's just kept it for now. McBot and Lucas Paul. Is right oh. on the back of him. He's trying Not to hold to it. it. Here he goes. Down the inside. McBot keeps the lead. Two Magnus retires. As two Magnus also retires. All the drama's happening here at the end. We've oh. had four retirements on the final two laps of this race. And it's looking like it's going to be McLaren to win for the third time oh. here in CTCR and Bahrain. Lightning Luke won all the way back in Season 1. McBot won in Season 2. And at the moment, he is winning in Season 3. Or in Season 5, I should say. We haven't raced here in two seasons. <laughs> Jinx is getting close to Lucas Paul. But I think he's going to keep it. So we'll switch our focus. Because it looks like Quattro has also lost out here. He's dropped all the way down to P6. But we'll switch our focus to the McLaren driver of FaZe McBot. He's done absolutely everything right today. A bit of controversy. But he is going to cross the line first, which is most important, and win the Bahrain Grand Prix. It's Lucas Paul to come in second, Jinx to come in third. And then rounding out the top four, it's JRR Quattro, then Ninja Hyper in sixth, or Marley sixth, Ninja seventh. Randro 8, Oven Curry 9th, and Kofi rounds out the top 10 
in 10th. Wow, what a race. Obviously, Lucas Paz dropped down to 9th, but finishes P2 on track. That's got to be one of the best season openers I've ever seen. And I'm sure I there's going to be plenty. I've ever seen yes, yes. There's going to be plenty of people um, in the... Um, now, is there a way? In the reports. Now, no one's before me get that penalty removed. There could be a possible penalty for Faison Scott, depending on any collision he may have been in. That yeah, well, could be a possible 100%, you know, that Randro is going to report it. It's Faze McBot to take home the first win of the season. He's back on the top step for the first time since Bahrain of Season 2, quite ironically. Uh, we'll go off the order of this game uh, and not what it will be. Uh, Jinx in P2, JRR, Tier 2 champion, on the podium here in Tier 1, at least for now. Behind him is Quattro, who's good recovery drive from P6 back up into P4. Marley, what a brilliant race he's had up into P5. Could have been a lot better. Maybe if he didn't get, um, he kind of got screwed over a bit uh, due to the um, double stacking, obviously, with McBot. Brilliant race, P5. Ninja is going to finish 6th with Randro in 7th. Oven Curry, 8th. Lucas Paul, 2nd in my books, but ninth on the game so far. Kofi finished in 10th. With Abrix Click doing a pretty good job himself in the Aston Martin, finishing in 11th. The Tier 2 reserve, racing in Tier 1. Griffin, this... Uh, He's finished 12th. Macker finishes 13th. Another Tier 2 reserve racing. Uh, Bandris, uh, who didn't have a great race last uh, yesterday and probably probably another one to forget today. It's Jake May 15th. Magnus, Essence Acid, Legend, Douglas and Ryan Curran, all the retirees uh, on that race. Anything else to comment on that, Manny, before we um, invite a few guys uh, to some I interviews? something to comment on. Lucas Paul in the old driver's chat, as the said it here, he has posted a gif of uh, Ryan O'Connor from Fast and Furious saying, I almost had you, and that's literally what it was. It yeah, was I just, I've seen that there. Lap. That is exactly what it was like, and in the race. That was so close. That is going to be absolutely... You know I'm going to edit that later tomorrow, Gaffo. You know it's going to happen. Yeah, what a race, I have to say. So, McBot, Jinx, and who was the third? JRR, if they want to join us for an interview. We'll see if they'll uh, join or not. Uh, yeah, if you can add them just to the uh, to the party chat, and I'll get into the showroom. Um I'll interview JRR, or you can interview JRR, I'll interview Jinx and McBot, if, th if that's alright, or yeah, is that good, yeah? Okay. Yeah, what a race indeed. Um, I'll be back just in a second, we'll wait for the guys to join, uh, and we'll get underway. I've just got to find out what JRR's uh, username is. Because as someone who's practiced with him for weeks, I still don't know it. I reckon he'll be mad at me for that one. It's just, yeah. Faze McBot joined. Welcome. Wagwan! I didn't believe you at the start, to be honest. I thought you were just second to it, but no. You like Faze McBot, didn't you? What? Oh, don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, what do you got for there? Uh, yeah, it's just uh, okay, and I'll be back to interview you. No problemo. I had a question. Um, actually, I'll ask Gaff when he gets back here. Yeah, I do that. Okay, so Jar, uh, when you join, got my. It's gonna go in the order of the podium. Mhm. Mm we get K in there. Alright, do we have everyone? Gaffo! Hello, my butt. Yep. Um, Marley got driver of the day. Is he able to get in? Because he's my teammate, like. Um, yeah, sure. We'll add in. We'll add in Marley. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Who's the other driver on the podium again? 
Jinx. If Jinx is joining, I'll, I don't I'll know. Invite him, I'll invite him there. Yeah. I know he's kind of scared to talk in front of everyone. He <laughs> <laughs> yeah, should be used to it with all his, all his uh, LOI podiums of uh, one. <laughs> you didn't even join the yeah, interview I, for that I one. Him. I know. Right, invite the boys there. I'm just first in the top of the like five how, how, how are you, Gaffo, anyway? <laughs> I'm great. I'm sure you're great as well. I am ecstatic. F1 Marley! Good evening! Good evening, Marley! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we have everyone. We have everyone in, as you can see. So, uh. Well, Gaffo, how's well, it going? How's it going? Alright. <laughs> yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shh. Before we get started, can we please get a big clap for F1 Marley on his defending yes. masterclass and the best teammate in the fucking league? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, uh, I'm not sure about the whole legality of the I suppose, I suppose, I'll, right, I'll, start, I'll start with you, Marley. Alright, James, we can talk afterwards, right? Your interview will come up soon, so. <laughs> Marley, uh, lads, can you just mute your mics there? <laughs> Alright, so, uh, I'll start with you, Marley. So, obviously, driver of the day. Uh, tell me about your qualifying. How, how did that go? Yeah, so, uh, I had a shit qualifying. Sorry, right. though, because uh, I'm the number one in the game, so. Yeah, alright. It happens sometimes. Sometimes you yeah. just have to have a bad quality. Well, it does happen, <laughs> and to be honest, that's the reason you, uh, you got, um, driver today obviously a poor quality and a great race tell us about your race i think you kind of got a bit screwed over cheers cheers jinx <laughs> Sc screwed over who you, you kind of got uh, a few of the double stacking you had to do at mcbah was quite uh oh, quite annoying. Sure, like, it's all right though because like uh i only lost out on one position to it so yeah. like it's all right just the, the main thing that really messed me over there was on the last lap uh I, got, I was like, you know, sending it to your corner. I wasn't overtaking, I was just defending. Yeah. And I got absolutely mounted on the back end, yeah, like a stallion, alright? Yeah. My car. And I, it got spun around, like, I felt like I was playing Driftmasters. But uh, my car was sideways then. <laughs> and, uh, Boy, was nasty I, just, I, just, I just screamed at the top of my lungs out of pure emotion, fatball prick. Okay. So, uh, you yeah. should have seen it, man. My whole house started fucking shaking. It was so loud. <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right. I'm so uh, I'm gonna keep in there, man. Oh my so, god, it's fucking gold. Marley, we'll just finish with you then. So Saudi Arabia up next. How do you feel for that? Uh, Muslim. Okay. Uh, can I just come to something? Oh, that just got really that way. You basically held it and died with like two seconds. Yeah, nah, no, listen, right. listen, I, I have Down syndrome, Murray. It was a bad restart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nah, nah. It's all legal, it's all legal. To, to be fair, like, it doesn't say anything it's wrong with it. It's just Ferrari and Silverstone. It hey, it, yeah, it, you it, 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 a Pringles can. <laughs> it, it, does, it doesn't say anything wrong with it in the, uh, in the real book, so. It was a smart yes, play. Yes, and, uh, yes. You, you should be okay. Uh, Alright, that's, that's it then. So, um. Manny, Thanks. I'll let you take JRR. Uh, if you guys could just probably just mute the mics there. All right. All yeah, right. Yeah. JRR, come on, man. Are you shy? Come on. All right. It's finally. Yeah. All right. So you had a, you had a shit race altogether. No, shit quality altogether. You had a decent race. You finessed it. Yeah. To be honest. Uh, how did you think about it? What, what happened? Quality. Oh yeah. Well, how, how do you think you get all this? <laughs> I don't know what I've heard either. I think it's yeah. more than likely it's uh, Caden Conrad, LOI underscore Jinx underscore URC underscore CPCR <laughs> underscore Esports Driver <laughs> Jinx. So. P P three for you, uh, yeah. Although it may not be a photo enough. Right, 
Right, let's keep professional, boys. Go on, Gaffo, keep going. All right, well, 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 to be honest, I don't really mind, all right? It's, it's the after race. It's a Saturday night. We'll enjoy what we want to do. I'll uh, move on to you, Jinx, then. So you're only getting P3 because I'm telling you now, Lucas Paul's getting that penalty removed and taking our penalty. He is. Who is Thomas and why is he brown? <laughs> <laughs> let's hey, hope. Gaffo, Gaffo, let's hope this Gaffo, video does not get Gaffo, taken down. Caden literally, Gaffo, Caden literally called it in the open. He's like, Gaffo is definitely yeah. gonna try and get that. One. Gaffo, I Paul. called that. <laughs> if he asks you, we're all leaving if you do that. <laughs> okay, okay. Who's the head steward? Who's the head steward to do what? Yeah, that's URC though, because that's because Shamrock's a a very a very certain word beginning with N. So. Uh... <laughs> 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 All right. Can I just give? <laughs> Wait, what we call it? Can I give a shout out to the one and only Maka? This fella. <laughs> <laughs> Quacho, wanker, 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 wanker. I have cancer. I will now, yeah. I will, I will, hopefully. Um, Alright, um... So just tell us about, we'll actually get to the interview now, so tell us about qualifying. Obviously, starting on pole, I'm sure it was successful, but you, you DNF'd, you DNF'd at the end there. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, what happened at the end there? I think you DNF'd. Was that just a bad run and you retired on track, or...? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's that's fine. As long as it's not in the race, it's alright. Um, alright, tell us about your race then. Obviously, not a great start, but some some recovery. And although Marley got driver today on game, I'd say you probably you probably got it. Fuck you, Gaffo. I had a great drive. You did have a great drive, Marley. <laughs> Now, obviously, next round is probably your favourite track, I think, isn't it, in the game? Jetta, how do you feel going into that? Good to hear. Okay. Okay, so... So, Faze McBot. Get in here. Hello? Me and Gaffo are out. Hello? Me and Gaffo. Shut your well, fucking mouth. What tell, us, tell us about that. We'll start with qualifying, but tell us about that. Uh, about... Shut up, kid. <laughs> about qualifying. So, <laughs> qualifying, um, went down my first run, spun, you know, as you do. Uh, second run, set a lap. Third run, I think we tell you. Caden, man, you're yeah, autistic. You like, just mute your mic. Oh, here, that's not very nice from a league owner. Yeah, anyway, shoot your mouth. You literally yeah. said the Gaffo. N word at full Shush. speed, man. Gaffo. Gaffo, go on. <laughs> Alright, yeah. So tell us about your race then. Obviously, that was that was some drive and probably a well deserved win. Ah, uh, yeah. The first couple of laps, fucking. Oh, I was pissed myself when Kane got taken out. I just looked back in the clip there and his mic turned off. But oh my god, for the, for the first two laps, I just couldn't stop laughing. It was so funny, but fucking, um, no, yeah, it was all over the place, really. The fucking Saints cards kind of fucked me over, for sure. Like, yeah. then battling with Quattro, um, he hit me and spun. It wasn't my fault at all. Um, uh, fuck you, Quattro. Thought I'd just say that, you know, anyway. For sure. Ooh, okay. What was I going to say? Um, Quattro likes dick, and, um, yeah. I think I'm off your lane. Alright, so oh, finally, we'll also, just talk also, about also, Jedi. Oh, man, I just love Marley. You yeah. see what Marley done I to start the stage again? I did. I think yeah, everyone's bro. seen it. That was that was really smart, and to be honest, nothing wrong with it. Um, exactly. So finally, then we'll go. Uh, can you talk us about Jeddah and how you um, feel going into that? It's 
a good try. Okay. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning. So. Every race. <laughs> so that that's everything. Uh, well done, McBa. Oh, well done, Jinx. Well done, Jr. And well done, Mary. It's soft and craggy bogland. So it's we'll see us next week.